This collection is a fascinating look at a variety of aspects of Irish history and culture through the period from the 1920s to the 1940s. We were delighted to work with Brenda Malone, curator of military history in the National Museum on this project. So Brenda is able to give historical context to the films that we've included in this collection, to pull out various different themes and to find parallels with contemporary events. So in this collection of videos, there's actually quite a lot going on. So we're looking at themes that are to do with the modernisation in Ireland in these years, um, the, the steps towards full independence from Britain, um, and other themes such as tourism, and of course, religion and the state. In 1937, there's the incident of Julia Clark, and she was, um, in her absence, exiled from Ireland for life, um, or for a month's imprisonment if she came back for the crime of kissing her boyfriend in a public place. In a beautiful piece called A Bygone Craft, we can see people building a coracle. This is early 1920s again, so this is about 10 years before the Irish Folklore Commission start systematically filming this way of life before it disappears. So the newsreels were actually quite ahead of its time in uh, trying to capture this activity. We collaborated very closely with British Pathé in order to be able to repatriate this material to the IFI Irish Film Archive. What is really interesting, I suppose, as an archivist, is that the standard definition access copies that have been made with technology of the 1990s and the 2000s had actually not been as good as the film. So really, we were waiting for digital technology to catch up with this old traditional film format. And that's what we've been able to present to people. So seeing this new level of detail in the newsreels has really made us look at our own collections again. Before the redigitization of this film reel, you really couldn't see how they were addressed. So it is quite amazing. So these newsreels are really going to make a valuable contribution to our study of these years after the decade of commemorations. We couldn't have completed this project without the support of the Department of Culture, Heritage and the Gaeltacht, the Arts Council and our technology partners, Axonista. <laughs>